it is West Ham 2, Manchester United, New Manchester United as always. The bubbles were forever blowing in our face because Manchester United lost three points. It cost us three points. The Hammers hammered down Manchester United today at home in their ground in a London stage. And Manchester United continue to let us down again. Another away game and another away defeat for Manchester United. Well, 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 what can we say? First of all, players out, managers out, ownership out. It's all I have to say because I'm fed up with this club. Again and again and again. The manager as well, starting 11. Why do you keep consistently playing Bruno Fernandes and Scott McTominay and leave Kobe Minor on his own? How unacceptable is that? And that's on the manager as well. The starting lineup was shit. And I have to say again, um, one of the things I have to highlight, Rasmus Hoyland is not good enough for Manchester United starting for our team. This guy can't defend, can't win his duels, can't win anything. It's been another horrendous match for Manchester United. You know what it is? It's Christmas. It's the festive period. Manchester United, all I asked for is a present for Christmas. All I wanted for Christmas is three points. Do you know what Manchester United said? You know what? Cool for you. We've been good all year. We've been supporting this team all year, you know. But you know what Manchester United did? They said, you deserve some coal. You, no, no, you don't deserve a present from me. You don't deserve three points. You deserve coal. They gave us coal today. Ah, oh, what a heart hit. I'm sometimes, I'm just done with this team, but I'll be back again to get my feelings hurt on Tuesday. You look at this match, the first 45 minutes was so slow for Manchester United. You know, it was a horrible watch at times, you know. Not enough creating. And when it was, the opportunity was never taken well, you know. Ganacho had his opportunity there in the first 45 minutes, guys, and you was thinking, raw, bro. Like, all you had to do was finish it well. Finish it off. Finish it off well. He didn't do that. He had most of the good chances, and again, and, and I look at players like Anthony and all that kind of stuff, oh, trash. And then the hard time came, it was a nil-nil, which, well, which was happy to take. I could take a one-nil. I mean, a nil-nil half-time and hoping that Manchester United can step it up a gear because it was slow in the first 45 minutes. Second half now, Manchester United come out like they were before in the first 45 minutes. The same old stinking Manchester United. Then we conceded the first goal from Bowen coming from the left-hand side of Manchester United. Somehow able to get that little rebound ricochet from the goalkeeper as well and the goalkeeper made that save. Straight there, finishing it off, and it was 1-0 to West Ham, and it was curtains from there, because we, we just knew... Sorry. Sorry, guys. I was angry there. It was curtains from there, and we just knew that, boom, this team would lose, and it's over for us. The second goal coming from Mohamed Kudus, running through that midfield of us, Bruno Fernandes and McTominay, I don't even want to blame Kobe, because Kobe did well. Non-assistance, ran through our midfield and he left us with two defenders, Evans and Kambala, who started and had his debut, to just rifle one in and out, a very good finish as well. Took them to the edge and then slapped the ball back in the back of the net, on and again conceding another goal. And it was 2-0 to two West Ham United. We, the wrong United the wrong United lost. I mean, the right United lost, guys. The right United lost which was Manchester United oh. oh it's just disappointing game in game out like I look at I look at a lot of things there's so many things that's wrong like for example the moment I saw that Rafa Varane was ill I was like okay we've got problems defensively now we've got so much defenders out it's just on the I just don't understand and you've got this selection Anthony today guys if we look at players like Anthony what's he doing here what is Anthony doing here? He's a fake Brazilian. I've never met a Brazilian that can't even take on a man properly and skill them up and go past them. Beat your man. Like, you can beat a woman, but you can't beat a man. You can beat a woman, but you can't beat a man. That sounds like your pussy to me. You know, that's those type of guys that will shout at a woman, but don't have the heart to shout at a man. You know? That was Anthony today. Rasmus Hoyland today didn't win anything. He didn't win any aerial battles today. He was useless. Toothless that he had to come out 55 minutes. This is six, 75 million spent. Worst thing I've ever seen so far. Scott McTominay and Bruno Fernandes are the worst of them all. Left themselves open for Kobe Minor, who held himself 
at times throughout that whole 90 minutes well. He done extremely well. And I'm proud of him. I'm pleased with him, you know. And then you've got Marcus Rashford who came on, who offered nothing to this game. And then let's talk about the manager. The manager will be selection. The manager will be sacked, guys. Eventually. He will be sacked. And I'm waiting for that day to come. But again, I don't believe anyone can come in and save this club until things change, you know. Nothing will improve until ownership is changed, structure of this club is changed. Those who run this club, day-to-day -day activities is changed. Those who make the hard decision has to be then to filter it down to the plain stuff. Because how are we losing again? Like it was quiet in the first 45 minutes. But again, another away game and another defeat for Manchester United. And I I can't back this. I'm tired of seeing Scott McTominay in midfield. I'm tired of seeing Bruno Fernandes together with him. With his two high eights. It doesn't work. Go back to what you did best last season. When we was okay. And we was defensively strong and resilient. Or is it because of the injuries it's costing us? I don't know. I'm confused, guys. I'm so confused with this team. Like, it just can't deliver. But it is what it is, guys. We have lost again. <sighs> Man, the match today, guys. Us. Donkey of the match, the whole squad. The whole squad sucks. I've, I'm getting headaches watching this team. It hurts. Like, what well, shit? What well, shit plus shit? What well, shit upon shit upon shit? And that equals diarrhea. We are diarrhea, guys. We are finished. Nothing will change. I keep saying this again. Nothing will change until changes upstairs is made. No. This is on the manager. This is also on the players. And this is on the ownership as well. Everyone who runs this club. West Ham has done a job on us and they blew bubbles in our face and they threw that full hammer to our head and smashed us. It is what it is. West Ham 2, Manchester United 0, we're fucking shit. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think, your thoughts are in this match, about this match in the comments and also let me know who your man of the match is and your donkey of the match is. Your boy is out. He's had enough, you know. As always, try and keep it united as you can. And remember to keep it ready night. Your boy is out. Peace. I'm, I'm fabregasses with this team. Absolutely pissed.